Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of DML today. So, we do have a brand new dragon that we're going to be hatching and he is the little leopard dragon, which is one of those new enchantment breedable dragons that came out in the Christmas update. He's got a lovely little spotty egg there, just look at him. I always call him the snow leopard because he definitely looks like a snow leopard, but I, I guess the full title is just leopard dragon. But anyway, the leopard dragon stalks its prey by hiding its in tall grass and then pouncing with claws unsheathed. Luckily its only prey is fruit, so this trainer just has to throw treats well away from himself so as not to become a casualty. That's kind of cute there. But it is kind of weird that all of these dragons only eat fruit. I just find that super weird. And if you touch him, he just sort of lays down and has a little snuggle on the floor. Look at him! What an adorable little guy. But energy, wind, and earth with base attack of 65. Not too bad of a dragon. Not too great either. So, you know, when there's better dragons out there, just keep him as a little collector's dragon. Love how cute he is, all that good stuff. But there we go, number 3, 12 for us. And uh, that is uh, one less space that we have left for other dragons as well, which is kind of scary. But I do like him. I've, I've always liked the Show Your Paws event dragons, and that's why a lot of people, in fact, were asking for them for such a long time, but finally got them, and so we can keep them in our games now. I won't level him up quite a lot yet, because we can use that for pretty much free level ups during the Frosty Foes event, which is good. But he has, like, rocks on his back and on his head, which is kind of weird. I guess that's the only dragon-like thing, that along with the stomach, really. Because apart from that, this does not look like a dragon, does it? This is this is literally just a leopard. It's a snow leopard, is all that this is. It's just one of those dragons that isn't really a dragon, but I, I guess it is. Like, what is this? This is not a dragon. I don't know. What do I know? But we've only got two three of these legendary habitats left. I've just been building other habitats because I've been putting it off for so long because to do it I have to sell my, or I had to sell my fire and wind dragons but I have got them back now. It's just the wind dragon doesn't have anywhere to put them until this habitat here gets leveled up. So we are desperate for space at the moment. And on top of that we did actually manage to breed the gorilla dragon as well. So there's another less space and there's the wind dragon egg just waiting for us there but again we will have the gorilla dragon to hatch on top of everything else which is pretty good it's just again i don't know where i'm going to find the space because after all of the new christmas dragons that are probably going to come out i mean we've got the snow queen out of the card packs which we want light water and shadow pretty pretty good pretty good and then obviously we do have the frost fairy as well which we're going to want to get a hold of so we need three more spots, four more spots minimum from right now, which is, uh, I don't know how we're going to do it. <laughs> I have no idea. But for now, we can still earn some more points for the Frosty Foes event. So let's go ahead and do some arena fights, get some of those event currencies for us. And um, I don't know what else we're going to do. I'm still ahead on my Android account compared to Windows because I am struggling with the element restrictions on my main account, which is kind of annoying. Normally it's the other way around, but because my team is decently strong now, because they're enchanted on my phone, they can actually do some of the fights. And any boss fights I end up doing with Dragon Fury Essence, whereas on this account, obviously, Andy just one-shots everything, which is great. But... I don't know. I, I, I just find it so annoying that I am behind on my main account compared to a level 40 account. Ay ay ay! This is why I need to get all of my dragons leveled up as quickly as I possibly can because I it does help having Andy at such a high level that we can just breeze through the map now and we can start doing some arena fights as well. But at the same time, I mean... It's just super annoying only being able to use Andy and then we get held back majorly during castle events which is very sucky. So I hope the final tier is nice and the required element is like shadow or something. That'd be great for me, probably not for everyone else. But we've already opened up two chests, oh no one chest on this level in fact. So we're about to open our second, we're not going to be able to do these fights. We are going to have to go all the way around. 
And same with up here, same with up here. Ugh, it's gonna be so expensive. You stupid little frosty fairy, I'm doing so much work for you. Ugh. But the only thing that we can really do is wait on this food here to actually finish up. And then we'll be done skis for the day. But, back onto our Android account. I need to take this turtle dragon out of the hatchery so we can do some other stuff. So we are going to hatch this little guy here. Obviously we've already hatched him on the other account as well. But uh, we, we got him on both. Which is really nice. Obviously he's not that difficult to breed since he's like the first unlocked enchantment dragon pretty much. But still, I love him. I love little Gadu here. Such an adorable little baby. And... We're currently breeding all of the light epic dragons because, obviously, you need to get all the commons, uncommons and stuff like that for all the different dragons that you can breed, especially an early level or so. I've just been going through and looking at what the recommended dragon to get next is and just breeding that. Very simple, very simple. So we need the energy dragon, breed those together. That'll give us a 14 hour breeding time, which is quite long. But it, it does give us the extra event points as well. <clears throat> but let's do some arena fights on here as well while we are here. Because again, more points. More points means quicker progression in the event, which is always great. And this team has actually been doing quite well since we enchanted it. I used to use the Ace Dragon, but we had to level up our eel dragon to be able to breed it for the turtle and then he had to be enchanted so he's actually stronger than the epic that we have which is quite funny at least to me so instead we have the eel dragon now that's just sitting there and you know using a common dragon like the eel in my team does make me a little bit sick because i i, I definitely don't want to be using it but it is what it is at the end of the day you know is there. We'll deal with it. Deal with it. But you can see we're one-shotting a lot of the guys at this ranking in the arena because their dragons are like between level, I don't know, 10 to 15 normally. We are fighting some higher level guys every now and then. But for the most part, easy days. Easy days in the arena, which means free wins for us, which means less portal gems that we have to waste, which is always fine and dandy to me as well. Just, if our Gave Dragon was enchanted like an extra level or two, he, he'd be one-shotting everything. He'd basically just be Andy's like little cousin, so, or maybe his niece or something, I don't know. But a Gave Dragon is still definitely a good stand-in dragon. It's a good starter dragon as well. Say you're a really low level, uh, you don't have many epics, the a Gave, uh, the Regal, the Black Armor, uh, who else? The Tiger, Banana. They're all really good dragons to use at a low level. And we didn't get lucky with this chest over here. Oh, that sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. If only you could have let me into the, the next level super quickly. I would have been very happy. But I think that is going to do me for now in the land of DML. But, you know, thanks for joining me today. We will hatch our gorilla and keep going with the event. But for now... Take care and I will see you then.